everyone, this is Maria, and welcome to 13 Spooky Nights of Halloween Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make a haunted house for your pet rock. This is what you're going to need. The haunted house I'm going to make for my pet rock is going to be a two-story house. So I've got two of these memory boxes that I picked up at Michael's. Um, you can use shoe boxes or anything else. You're also going to need some spooky scrapbook paper to wallpaper the walls of your haunted house. And you're going to need some felt for the flooring. And you're going to need some scissors and your choice of glue. I'll be using the Scotch wrinkle-free glue, the glue sticks, for the paper items. And I'll be using tacky glue to glue down the flooring. And I'll be using the hot glue sticks for the heavier items. My haunted house is going to have a coffin, and so I found this little wooden coffin at Michael's for a few dollars. I have a sponge brush here, paint brush, and some black paint, acrylic paint. Then you'll need some items of your choice to decorate your house. This is some stuff that I've had stored away from previous Halloweens, and also things I've picked up at the dollar store recently. So I've got stickers, I've got skeletons, more stickers. I've got this uh, necklace, this light up pumpkin necklace that I got at the 99 cent store. And also this spooky branch back here. And I have some playing cards from the Haunted Mansion from Disneyland that I bought a long time ago. And this is optional again. You can put this moss on the outside of your haunted house to make it look spookier. And you can glue that on with tacky glue. Okay, you guys, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I did is I measured with a yardstick. I measured the length and the width, and this was going to determine like um, the wallpaper for the back of the house because this is going to be a two-story house. So I'll need wallpaper for the back walls, and I'll also need wallpaper for the side walls. Okay, we're going to be gluing this together afterwards. Okay, so this is what I came up with. Also, I measured the bottom for the carpet and so, or the flooring. And so this is the paper that I have that's gonna be the back walls, and then this is gonna be the side, and I also have the flooring here. So I have that all ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. I think I'm going to use, um, you can use tacky glue with this, uh, my granddaughter did, but I think I'm gonna use the hot glue gun. I have it warming up, and I'm definitely gonna use the uh, glue stick for the paper. Okay, so I got everything glued in, um, all the wallpaper. I really love it. I've got some ghosts down in here. I'll show you later. And I went ahead and glued in the flooring and I used the hot glue gun. I really highly recommend the tacky glue because then you can work with it a little bit more to push it back into the corners. And so, yeah. And so anyways, uh, let me show you some other stuff I'm going to use to decorate the back. Oh, by the way, we're going to end up gluing this down like this. This is the paper that I'm going to glue on the back of the house. It's really spooky looking and there's like graves in here. So it's like a graveyard. And I also found a piece of paper with this haunted house. And so I'm going to put that on the back and wrap this around the corner of the house. I also found this spooky tree from another piece of paper and a moon, spooky moon with some bats. And I found some things I'm going to use on the inside. Oh, wait a minute. I found like a headstone. I have another one, but it fell on the floor. And I'm going to put that on the inside of the house. And I'm going to put this spooky mirror on the inside also. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put some hot glue all the way around. And Trying to hurry up because I don't want this to dry too quick. I think that's enough right there. And let me go ahead and get the top half of the house. Here's the top half. And I'm going to line it up and just do that. There we go. It was a little off. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, but I do want it to sort of line up. See, the glue is already drying. And so I'm going to press it down. I'm pressing it down right here, if you can see this. And it's really taking shape. I really like this. I'm going to try to use the top of the boxes, the lids that came, and to form a roof. So I'm hoping that works. Okay, so let's get busy and do the back. Okay, so I have my crafting mat off to the side, and I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. And by the way, I don't think I'm going to use that other moon I showed you since there's one in here. So let me go ahead and put some glue on here. And I'm using my glue stick. I really love this glue. 
So I'm just gonna smear the glue all over, especially in the corners, and doing all around the edges first, and then I'm just going up and down with the glue all over. And this is really sticky glue. I love this glue. And so I'm going to, I already trimmed it. I used a paper trimmer, but if you don't have one, you can use your scissors. And again, it doesn't have to be super perfect. See, it's already gonna cover up that hole right there that, um, that was in the back of that box. So anyways, let's see, I'm gonna move this over if it lets me. If not, no biggie. Oh, hey, it moved. <laughs> but it's a little off on this side too. Okay, we're just gonna leave it now. And so I'm going to put the tree next. And so, because that's gonna go behind the fence. So I'm just smearing some more glue. I found this glue um, at Joann's. I bought it there, but recently I found it at the 99 cent only store, which was even a better bargain, even with a coupon at Joann's. But if you can't find it at the dollar store, uh, you can use just a regular stick glue that you use at school, uh, but I really love this glue. But what I was saying at Joann's, you can get a discount with a coupon. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put it, I don't know if you could see this, about right there, and I'm just gonna flatten that. Really like that. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is to go ahead and do the house. I think I'm gonna move this tree over just a little. Oh, let me straighten it up a little bit more. Just one second. Let's see, I don't know if I can do this. Yeah, it's gonna let me pull it off. Okay, because it was a little crooked. There you go, how's that? And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue this right there. I love this because um, I, it was at the edge of the paper and I didn't have to cut out very much. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put some more glue on this. I really love how this is turning out. Uh, next I'm gonna paint the coffin, I think, after I'm through with this and let that dry. And this might take me a couple of days to make this video. Okay, and so I've got glue all over this. Let me put a little bit more on the chimney. I've got things sticking to my fingers. Ah. <laughs> okay, and so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that just like that. I love it because the house matches this purple paper. I really love it. And so I'm just gonna do that. And then, can you see that right there? And then there's this little piece right here and I'm just gonna wrap it around the corner. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything with the sides of the house yet. Anyways, I really love this. Oops, this is coming apart, so I gotta put some more glue on it. And maybe I need to hold that down for a few minutes. Oops, I forgot to add the headstone, so I'm gonna go ahead and add them right there. Let's see, I think I'm gonna, where should I put them, like right there? Doo -doo -doo. Yeah. I like that one right there. So it's exciting, you guys, because Halloween is coming and I'm really excited. It's like I love Halloween all year long and it's like a lot of other people come out to play at Halloween and that makes it more fun. So there's one of the headstones. I really like that. It says here lies on this one, so I can actually put a name on there. Maybe. Gosh, I don't want to put a pet rock stain in there. Maybe I'll write, here lies nobody. Oops. It was getting stuck here to the mat, you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead. I think I'm going to put this one a little bit crooked because you know how you see the old headstones in the graveyard kind of crooked? So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, now we're going to move on. Okay, so I've got the two lids that came with the boxes, and I really love this black box. Um, you can get one with a print, though, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hot glue this in here. Let me show you this. So I just take one of the lids, and by the way, this is optional. You don't need to put a roof on if you don't want to. So I'm going to just put some glue in there, and I'm going to slide that in. It slides in perfectly, and then what you're going to end up with is a roof and then we're going to glue that down. Okay, so I'm going to put some hot glue in here. Be careful not to burn your fingers. So I'm gonna go ahead and slip this in. And you know what, if you wanna try tacky glue, I think that would work too. Um, you would just let it, need to let it dry longer. Okay, that is great, you guys. I love this so much. I'm having so much fun. 
and you know the time is just going by so fast and I'm trying to hurry up and get my videos done and some other things done. Ta-da! There it is. We have a roof. And so I'm going to, oh by the way, there's the back of the haunted house. Isn't that cute? Here's the front. And then you can decorate it any way you want. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I've got the roof on and it's a little bit crooked. And so, <laughs> oh well, that's okay. It's supposed to be a haunted house, right? And haunted houses sometimes look a little dilapidated. So, <laughs> but anyways, I really liked it. I was gonna put some more paper in here to cover up the hole in the attic, uh, but then it would mess it up in the back as far as the paper goes. Uh, let me show you the back. Here's the back. I really love it. I really like it, you guys. And I don't know if I'll put anything on the side of the house. I may. And so as I keep working on it. Now to paint the coffin. This one makes a little bit of noise. But it doesn't always work. And so, but it's still really cute. I'm going to put some of this black paint on this plate here. And... I think I'm going to work right here and then I'm going to put this over here. So I'm just going to, with my little sponge brush, and the sponge brushes are like 49 cents, but you can use a paint brush if you want. And so I'm just going to paint this all up and um, that's it. And so I'll be right back. Okay, so we're all done now and I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I added some LED bat lights on the roof and here's the box, the package. I got these at Home Depot and they were like five dollars. They're really cute and you can't see the battery pack but I hid it right here under the roof and so I can just go behind and light them up. You can see they're bats. They're really cute. So anyways, uh, some other things I wanted to tell you was I had to remove these from the photo boxes that I bought at Michael's and that was really easy. I just slipped my scissors right underneath and pull them right up. That was super simple. The other thing I wanted to show you is I use these cute little hands that I bought at Michael's. They're cute creepy little hands. But actually I made these into chairs for my pet rock. So I just put some hot glue right on the back here and I just pressed it down and held it for like less than a minute. And you can see those right here. So the staircase is made of match boxes. And so what I did was I just glued them on top of each other and then I painted them black. And if you don't have match boxes, I just happen to have a bunch of empty ones. Uh, you can take these little raisin boxes. Um, this is like one of my snacks. And you can just like put some glue there and glue them like this. And you can just keep piling them up until you have staircases. Then you can paint it black with the same acrylic paint that I use for the coffin. And so I'm going to show you the house now. Okay. So I used the uh, Haunted Mansion cards um, for portraits and actually when I first started thinking about making this pet rock haunted house, I didn't really know how I was going to decorate it. And then I actually had a dream and in the dream I decorated the walls with these cards and I even forgot I had the cards and so I pulled those out and they're perfect. Okay, here's the coffin and then I glued this down also, the coffin. I glued all the furnishings down just about and then here's the skeleton that I showed you earlier from Michael's. I glued the skull there. This actually, the table, the coffee table is a container, the container that held the uh, playing cards from uh, Disneyland, the Haunted Mansion cards. And I took the Madame Leota card and I went ahead and glued that down. And then again, there's the hands that are the chairs. And I had those pumpkin lights. I just went ahead and just glued them here. This was kind of hard. Um, you know, the glue got, it was warm and um, you can't let it get too cold, but you don't want to burn your fingers either. So you might have an adult do that. You don't even have to put that. Or you could put ribbon there or, or just not anything. Um, this ghost right here, let me show you the ghost. I love that ghost. Anyways, this ghost right here came off a headband from the 99 cent store. And you see them everywhere at the dollar store. I also put a ghost right in here. I don't know if you can see that, let's see. Yeah, there it is, right there. Put that ghost there. And little witch paper picture there. And there's some other things that I got off the um, my scrapbook paper. Let me move this around this way. And you can see, I think you can see, let me move it a little bit more. Can you see the bat here? That also came off a headband from the 99 cent store. So that was fun. And let's see what else. Um, oh, I know. 
Let me show you what I did, how I put the moss. Whoops, don't want to pull that down. Okay, remember I showed you the moss? And let me pull this down here. Sorry about that, you guys. But there's the dried moss, and what I did was I just put some hot glue and just stuck that right on there, and that was super simple. Gosh, you guys, I remember a time when there was no such thing as hot glue. <laughs> and I think I used to use, like, Elmer's glue. Oh, and you could hear the, um, the coffin is making noise. And there's some more of the moss. And then remember the branch I showed you at the beginning of the video that I got at the 99 cent store? I went ahead and just cut the bottom of it and I just glued it on here with hot glue. And I really like that. I also added, I think I showed you the paper earlier that I added on the side and there was another piece of paper I added up on top. Let me show you the back again. Okay, there's the back and you see, let's see. Doo doo doo, sorry. There's the, um, the little thingy that holds the batteries for the lights and I'm just tucking it right over there. And so I go in through the back of the house. And I really love the way this turned out. I mean, I really like this. This is fun. And so this was just, like I said, scrapbook paper. This is all scrapbook paper. You know what? It's your choice. You don't have to use scrapbook paper. Um, you could even just draw on there, or you can leave it plain, whatever you want. And again, you could, it's also your choice if you want to use two boxes to make a two-story haunted house, or you can just use one box. Okay, and I also added a little skull right here. And so, and let me show you the spider. Let me show it to you up close. You can see there's a spider. I also got that, I think, at the dollar store. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put the pet rocks inside the haunted house. Here we go. And so, let's see. How about we put this one over here. I really like these chairs. <laughs> and this one, I love her hair and we'll put her right there. Okay, there they go. Maybe they're gonna have a seance or something. And this one I think is really brave and is gonna go up into the attic. And so we'll go ahead and put this one up in the attic. And so anyways, you can also add some stuff in the attic. Um, I just didn't have anything else uh, for right now. And like I said, you can add a graveyard and so I'm going to put these right here. And you could actually add more of the, um, the moss, the dried moss for your graveyard. So there you have it, you guys. A haunted house in time for Halloween for your pet rock. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh my gosh, you guys, I turned my back, and look, the pet rocks have gone into the graveyard. Get out of there, you guys. Get out. Ooh. Run, run.